How's it going guys, Tippy Gaming here, and welcome back to another prognostic episode. Uh, last part, we worked a lot with zodiac signs, I've noticed. Um, yeah, don't know too much about those, I know they're real popular, and I just, I just really don't know them. But, you know, we worked a lot with those to find some of the clues, to find the people, I guess, that we're looking for. Because this is, again, like a supernatural detective game, which... It's fun, but I still don't understand how this game works, so I'm going to be honest. I, I don't understand the story or anything. It's a little spooky here and there, um, but I think we're on day five or four. I'm not sure how many days there are. There's just chapter selections. Okay, I get, okay so, all right, so there must be five days then, or maybe that's just one we're on. I don't know. Either way, um, let's get back into it. Here we go. Day five. Party killer. Ooh. Okay, alright. Alright, I just like kinda woke up. Uh, oh, I gotta like kinda oof, shake. Alright. I couldn't understand all these terms and formulas from her letters, so I asked the local professor for help. It turns out that in his youth he studied with our old woman woman at the university. She had a science degree. Who wouldn't have thought? Unfortunately this gentleman's family suffered a tragedy. His granddaughter was killed. Rebecca Dean. She and her fellow students threw a uh, three-day party at 6 Barnahill Street, and after walking away from the, hung, uh, the hangover, they found her already cold body. The murder took place in October 1904, but we don't know the exact day. I saw how... Sorry. <gasps> Alright. I saw how her grandmother was able to establish a connection between the killer and the victim using tar uh, tarot cards. Oh, boy. If you repeat this ritual and find the killer, the professor will help us with the letters. Send the killers to Sierra Mark and send whoever, or Mark and send where he was at the hour of the murder. Send the results of the victim's tarot reading. Okay, all right. Well, Rebecca Dean, the victim, she was a student. She came to her sister's birthday party. The guests thought that she had left early, but three days later, her body was found in the basement with a stab wound. Too many knife killings have been happening in the town lately okay i barely managed to get to her to talk the girl was heartbroken she adored her sister and guess what you have to tell uh, you have something in common she's found a fortune telling oh interesting is dead he was a brother of the victim and lived with he was the brother of the victim i'm guessing uh, and lived with her. He claims that he left the party on the first day. Other witnesses could not confirm this. Huh. The fiance of uh, Selena. It's spelled differently, but okay. Selena Dean. He was one of the found the body. The guy was clearly shocked. Fiance at 16? Dear God. <laughs> the victim's neighbor. The families are, <laughs> are in strained relations because of the ongoing dispute over the land borders. He himself claims that he had no problems with Rebecca. Okay. Alright. Alright. The tarot cards will reveal the connection between the victim and the killer. They are located in the second floor. Okay, fine. We'll go to the second floor. Go to the tarot card, they say. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That'll be fun, they say. There's a lot more of this game than I, uh... And I guess I, I understood. Oh, God. A whole other aspect. Yeah, well, I am just making sure everything's all situated here, bro. We got to turn all these bad boys on. Getting this place well freaking lit, man. We're getting it lit. We're getting it lit. Okay. All right. Um, sure, check everything else. Okay. All right, cool. Into the tarot room we go. Ooh, okay, alright. Is there any candles in here that we can light up? It doesn't. Oh, geez, well, that's great. What? Okay, hold on. Okay. Alright. Take our room, help find out the connection between the victim and the killer. Make sure that the uh, rich candles lit. Put the victim's dossier in the stand. Shuffle the deck until the images shine with lights. So I'll bring the card deck one by one. Watch out for the death card. If you see it, do not open further. 
shuffle again and start from the beginning. Keep shuffle, uh, keep opening cards until you draw the justice. Open and memorize one final card after that. Okay, so put the victim and then shuffle. The lovers. Start opening the cards one by one. Okay. Keep opening cards. Until you find what? Until you you draw the justice. If you see it, do not open further. Shuffle again. So, okay. The world. Magician, the devil. Oh God, dude, this is. I'm. So, no, I fucking hear you. I fucking hear you, piece of shit. Come here, come here. Where are you at, asshole? Come on, come on, bastard. You're loud as hell, man. You're loud as hell. I know what's up, man. That's just some bullshit. Shut up. Shut up. I'm not stupid. Justice. All right. Op uh, open and memorize one final. Keep opening cards until you draw the justice. Open and memorize one final card after that. Find out the meaning of the card. Mark the connection between victim and the killer. On the okay. All right. So open up one more card. Bam. The tower. Okay. Well, we don't really need this anymore. The tower. We got the tower. The murder is part of the family. Bam. All right. Cool. All right. Let's tab this bitch. Okay. The murder is part of the family. Send the results of the victim's tarot card reader. Okay. Now we need to know the murder took place in October 1904. We do not know the exact day. Um. Okay. All right. That's easy. I know what to do. Guess we gotta do a kind of a combination of three. I'm guessing. So is that Elvis? El. Oh. <laughs> okay. I thought it was Elvis. I thought it was dang Elvis. All right. All right, bam. Ba bam. We go to September 9th. Yeah, September 9th. We need Virgo Earth. It's that weird looking one. Um, There you are. So black to that weird looking one. Okay. And then it's orange. So the fourth letter of the name or the last letter, if the name has less than four letters. The fourth letter of the name. One, two, three, four. E. So E is five. So we move red. Red. Okay. Move red to five. Okay, and then, gosh, that's so, stop that shit, bro. If there are more than five letters in the surname, then the key letter of the surname is the fifth one. If that's the last one, one, two, three, four, fourteen, and, 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 five as well. Okay, all right. All right, so, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, wait. August. August, but they just said it was like October. What the hell does this tell? Month, but you just said. Dang it, no. Go, go. 
No, am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? No! You bastard! Come here! I'm coming for you! Oh god! Oh god, what? What is that thing? Oh my What the fucking shit? What? <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay. Come on. Right, she was a Virgo because she was born September. So, Virgo, right? Isn't that what that means? That goes there. Isn't that a Virgo? Is that Virgo? I don't know. Is that a Virgo? Even though it's a scorpion? Oh my god. Oh, you dumbass. Ugh. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> okay. What? The hell? Okay, whatever. Dude, I don't care. I don't care. God. God. Nah, dude. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Okay, whatever. Month. Okay, well, dude, whatever. Day. Oh, I hear it. It's right here. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Alright, thank God. Okay, alright. Month. Day. Day is three. So. Hour. Well, if the hour is... Eight and this is night, and you gotta say you gotta add like so twelve plus eight. I don't know twenty two, but I it said October. God, I hear crying, man. Stop. No. What? what? Okay, whatever. Let me read this. Merch took place in October. We don't know the exact day. Yo, what? I thought I... What? But that's literally Virgo. Five and five because... <laughs> one A... One D... E is five. N is five. Why? God damn it. God damn it. I gotta worry about this shit. Whatever the hell. No. Get away. Fucking weirdo. God, what? Did you. Did you really. I thought you manifested it. I was like, damn, bro. <sighs> the fuck? The hell was that? Dude, I don't know what. <sighs> What is this? God. Wait, what? Oh God! Oh, oh my jeez, dude! Stop, bro! I don't. Mm. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I'm just trying, man. I don't want to do this. Dude. No! No! Fuck it. Nah, dude, I'm fucking done. I can't fucking find what the fucking problem is. You want to fucking go? Come here. Come here. I don't give a shit. Fuck you. Yeah, what are you gonna do, huh? God, dude, this is annoying. I hate this shit, bro. I can't find out what the damn problem is. That damn wheel shit never works. What, do I have to put the stupid killer in here too or something? Ugh, oh, whatever. God, dude, no! I'm not, no! Oh, what?! I probably fucking ran out of time, dude. Oh, God. Oh, my lord. Uh, I don't understand. Uh. Oh, my. 
guys, I'm a dumbass. Why do these assholes keep... Oh, how do you put the month of the day? You confuse me! She's not a Virgo, she's a damn Libra. And I've been a moron this entire time. Acting like it's their fault. And really, I've been the one who's fucking up. So she's actually the blue shit, the third letter of the name, or the first if the name has less than three. B. B is in two. Oh my god, I have just had a terrible, terrible, terrible time. If there are more than five letters, no, 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 it's not the last one. The last one's an N, which is all up five. So, five. Ten. Nope. Oh, all right, it's perfect. We can get this shit done. Ten to five. Oh my god, okay. Ten, two, and the hour is two. Okay, so 14, so 10. Day is two. 14, correct? Because 12. Month. 10. Hour. Two. Day is five. God, I'm stupid. There we go. All right. Okay. And then... Oh, can we refill a stupid candle? God, I am so dumb sometimes, guys. I swear to God. If the, uh, that, mm, mm, mm. I'm trying to see the freaky shit of this game. I don't like it, like, at all. It's weirding me out here. Getting real upset. So the murder was on the sixth. Blah 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 blah. blah bam. All right. And the brother's there, and we know it's not the brother. It's the weird ass sister. Okay. Well, we know it. All right. Game over. We won. All right. Cool. Doesn't matter. Nope. I don't care. It is her. The clue is she was there, and then it's the murderous part of the family, and boom, we got it. Oh my god, that took way too long. It took way too long. I put a little pr uh, pressure on her during the interrogation. She began to sing. I thought that she did it out of jealousy, but there was uh, something else. Only during the interrogation, she mentioned where she had heard about the betrayal of her groom and her sister. In a dream, this professor lost his second granddaughter. I personally came to arrest her, and yet he kept his word. During her university years, our grandma came up with an insane theory of what she called conscious transmission. This is the assumption that thoughts and feelings live in some kind of invisible field that can affect people. Judging by her last letter in recent years, she she has come to the conclusion that even the thoughts of deceased people can emit these residual waves. If I didn't know that your fortune telling works, I would consider these records to be absolute nonsense. Maybe the professor's grandma heard. Yeah, dude. Something from beyond. Okay. Well, that took way too long. And I am very upset. Day six. Street justice. Okay. Let's see. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Interesting lineup here. This time I see an example of a crime that no one wants to solve. One couple terrorized residents of a small neighborhood. They carried out armed robberies and intimidated witnesses after. The locals couldn't do anything about it because the girl's father is... Uh, let's say, is quite an influential person. It all ended badly. The couple was killed. Amelia at the end of 1903 near the house at 7 Glower Street. Lucas in September 1904 in a local shop at 4 Glover Street. Experts say they were shot from the same revolver. The locals uh, refused to testify. Maybe they deserved it, but if we don't arrest this, uh, arrest the culprit, they, they friends, their friends will come to the neighborhood and we will have a lot more victims on our hands. Send so the killer's dossier, send where he was at the hour of the first murder, the second murder, send the results of the victim's tarot reading. Alright, Lucas. I don't care. Alright. I don't care. We are just gonna go upstairs. We're gonna go right away. I just wanna check something. I can imagine that there's four slots at the bottom, correct? And there's three. The victim's. Victims tarot reading, but there's two victims. Okay, whatever. All right, whatever. Oh, I guess they both know the same damn thing. I guess they're gonna say the same damn thing. I don't think both of them are gonna really do much, but we will just 
put hers down. We will shuffle these bad boys. All right, and first card. Let's see. Come on. It says justice. Remind the world. If it says death or something, it's a death, right? Death card. All right. Let's reshuffle. Justice. This next card's the one. All right. Flippity floopity. Judgment. 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 The murder seeks justice. All right. Well, let's see. The murder seeks justice. Well, I probably gotta read some of this shit. <laughs> Died in 1903, ambitious, bold, and pretty. She was the one who chose the shops and businesses that she and her husband would rob. Oh. She called herself the queen of the town and behaved accordingly. She was killed first, three shots to the chest. Her own gun was in her hand. You must understand how much she was hated. The body lay on the street for several days until a patrolman found it. During this time, none of the neighbors or witnesses contacted the police. He used to be pretty troublemaker, or a petty troublemaker, but under the guidance of his second half, he began to act much more wisely. Not a single accusation against them, against them ever reached court due to the lack of evidence and a little help from the girl's father. Father. Oh. When we reported that we could not find the killer, he flew into a rage one evening. Visitor of the bar heard him say that soon the locals would regret about what they did and that he already stuck himself with guns. His body was found the next day. During the night, she worked as a waitress in a local. She was one of the few friends. Emilia had a quarrel after me, became jealous of her boyfriend. The owner of a barber shop. She claimed that she was robbed by Lucas Walker last year after a quarrel with his wife. Her witnesses so this to this, so the police could not do anything. He is a handyman. He was working part time in a fishing shop at the time when Lucas trashed that place. Primary school teacher. We don't know. What caused the conflict? But in the police archive, there is a statement from Mr. Pr uh, Price that a month before his death, Lucas ambushed him at the door of the house and beat him up. Janitor moonlights as a cleaner in several shops. Several witnesses saw him quarreling with walkers, but the reason for the quarrel remained unknown. Okay, well, we can put these bad boys up. And time for your turn, buddy. Bam, 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 bam. All right, justice. Next one, right? The emperor. The killer is a man. Interesting. Okay, so, bam, bam. So we got three guys left. At the end of 1903, near the house. Um, 1904. God, somebody's hauling ass. Okay, I gotta do this shit. All right, so she was August, August. God, that fire's loud as shit, man. August thirteenth, August thirteenth. Uh, Leo, she is a Leo, 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 Leo. What is that? That there, there. Okay, Leo. All right, and Leo is red. The first letter of the name A. A is for apple. That's enough for me. Z is for cookie. All right. Okay, stop. R. R is two. So blue. It's two. So month. One. One. Day twenty-eight. Yep. Oh, thank you. I appreciate this so much. You don't even know. That's actually so nice that you're right there. I don't have to worry. All right. It's a moon. So hour was one. So it's 11. Bro, what? She died. 1903. All right, man. Look. All right. 1903. 1903. She August 13th. August. July. Through August 22nd. Leo. Okay, Leo. The first sign, I got that on the Leo, which is the Leo sign, correct? Correct. 
That's a lion. All right. The first letter of the name, A. A is 1. I move 5, that to 1. Okay. That one. And I read if the surname has identical letters, which it does not because there's nothing identical in there at all, then the key letter of the surname is the first one. If not, it's the last one, which is R. R is 2. Blue goes to 2. So then why the actual fuck month? One. Hour. One. Plus, oh my god, I'm so dumb. Not ten, dude. Hour is plus twelve, so it's thirteen. Ugh. Gotta replace the fire. Gotta replace the fire. Gotta go replace the fire. God, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid, man. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh god, okay. Alright, now we gotta go to you. Uh, October 5th. Alright, October. You're a Libra as well. I know what Libra is. Then. Libra is right. Right, 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 right there. Libra's right there. Okay. Libra. Libra. The third letter of the first name. 1, 2, 3. C. C is a 3. C is a 3. C is a 3. If there are more than five letters, one, two, three, four, five, okay. Then the key letter is the fifth one. All right, so one, two, three, four, E is five. So four, blue, two, five. Okay. All right. Month nine. Day. Is that a six? Six. Hour eight. So eight twenty. All right, cool. Now let's just let's go over some evidence here. The murder seeks justice. The killer's a man. Died January first or January twenty eighth, nineteen o three. Died September sixth, nineteen o four. Um, he was on Seven Glower, so let's check out the first one. So let's go January 28th, 1903. Over here. It's upstairs. I know. I know where it's at. 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 I know. I see. I'm not. No, I'm not dying to you, lady. No. No. No, and we can turn that light on, too. I'm not dying to you. Nope. No, and you're not coming through, all right? So don't worry about it. Hour, hour is 13, oh, 1300 hours. One, two, three, month, one, day, 28. Don't care, I don't care, don't care, all right. Damn, seven Glower Street, seven, seven, seven. All right, now man's. Oh, let's check out these boys here. Nope, not you. So, not you. It is you. All right, but if you're there, I just want to make sure. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Yeah, because that confuses things. September 6th, 1904 20. Okay. September 6th. No, September 6th? Yes, September 6th? Nope, wrong, wrong button. Okay. Oh. September so 09. 6. Bam. You, okay. You said 4 Glower Street? All right, boom, bada bing, done. Let's go. We got it. We got it. All right, cool. So, killer, it's you. Clues. Where were you the first murder? You were at Glover Street 7. Glover Street 7. And then your motive is that the killer is a man. 
All right, send. Bada boom, bada bing. Look at that. A murder weapon was found in Mr. Hancock's house. I believe that he did not act alone, but he refuses to name any accomplices. During the interrogation, he almost immediately confessed and said that he was haunted by the thoughts of their murder. This uh, thoughts didn't end even with their death of the walkers. Now he dreams all about other murders? Wait, what? This cannot be a coincidence. All killers mention strange dreams and voices. It seems that among the dead hides the ones who cannot control the living. It's a good thing that there is... One among us who is able to control the dead, it is you who can control them and not vice versa, right? Huh. Is that it? Day seven. How many days are there? Alright, let's see. How long is this one? What time is it? Um. Alright, I got time for one more. We're going to do this one. There must be an explanation of why you are starting to see her more often. Maybe it's because you are using more of her rituals and they are making contact easier. But why does she hunt you if she herself let you all these instructions? Oh, that's the old lady who's freaking freaking me out. Ugh. I know it's hard for you, but we have to keep going. You saw the last case. Those who hear the voices, voice cannot stop after one murder. Someone has to catch the guilty. Otherwise, we will face even more deaths. Over the past couple of months, screams and sounds of fighting became a common thing. Such a fight recently happened on the outskirts. We found a body in the homeless camp at South Way 1 Road. I talked to the informant and identified five suspects who could have been there at the time of the death. 1904, early September. The problem is that they can hide anywhere. I don't need to find out, uh, find all people from there, just the killer. Send me the name of the killer and where he is today on 30th of November, 1904. Okay. So I'm trying to understand. I'm a cop. I guess my grandma left me instructions. She was a cop too. And uh, she's haunting me now. Don't know why. Um, but okay. Send the killer's OCR somewhere he's hiding now. You know, for I talked to the informant and I find who could have been there at the time that I, okay. Well, I know what to do. I'm gonna do it real quick. Bam. I think I know what to do. I'm just gonna do it right now, and I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. Bam, 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 bam. 1904, uh, March 4th, March 4th, March 4th, March 4th, March, 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 March 4th, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. So Two lines dash. Two lines dash. All right, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Bam. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right, it's purple. The last letter of the name. Last letter. Uh, y. Y is one. One. So red goes to one. All right, blue. Um, it's purple. If the surname has identical letters, then the key name of the surname is the last one. If not, then it's the first one. Okay, so if there's identical letters... H O P K I N S. There is not, so he said it's the first one. If not, then it's the first one, which is an H. H is five, so we move to blue to five. Bam! All right, month nine, which we knew that, so it is early. Um. Bam! All right, and then nine zero four. We're good on that. Day three, hour two. All right, day three, hour two. Bam. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's go to that exact day. Just make sure. All right, let's, let's find out everything. All right, so hour was 2 September 3rd, 1904. 2 September 3rd. September 3rd, 1904. 2 September 3rd, 1904. Okay, cool. Okay. Now he said someone has to catch. Um. Death. Okay. Nope, not you. You're gone. Nope, not you. You're gone. Alright, so I'm gonna. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to do something. All right, so you two possibly. All right, well let's go get your, let's get what you where you are right now. So, uh, twenty two, so twenty two. Month eleven. Day thirtieth. Okay, so. Nope. Okay, where are you now? There's 
you and then just want to make sure we're getting I know that is. Hall, come on, run, 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 run. Fine. Okay, we're already up here. Might as well do it. We're already up here. Might as well do it. So let's just go here. Bam, bam. All right. Hoop, hoop, hoop. Come on, come on. Justice, just be justice right away. No, damn it. All right. Justice, justice right away. Justice right away. Come on, Empress. Nope. Justice, justice right away. Justice. There we go. Yes. Perfect. Okay, cool. Flip. And it's going to be a high priestess. 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 Where's that at? The hell's the high priestess? Huh. Oh. The murder has an accomplice. An accomplice. Oh. Interesting. Bam. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Now we got to go downstairs. So we know that it's those two assholes. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hurry, tippy, hurry. Oh, we are in a rush. We are in a rush. Nope, I know you're right there. I saw that. I don't care. Wait, did I even... I didn't even start it up. The hell, you took it away, you ass. God, screw you. Nope, that's not what I need. I need to pull up these bad boys. Where are you at, sir? Where are you at hiding? Where are you hiding out right now? Where are you hiding? Show yourself. Where are you? Oh. Alright, well I found out who it was. Who's alive right now? Oh, well, he's dead. Okay. Well, he's dead, so... Bam. Boom. <laughs> Done. Look at that. Turns out that they were dealing with two murders this morning. Edwards tried to hang himself in his cell. He said that he planned to share the loot with Bulk, but the devil convinced him to keep everything for himself. We were right. It was this voice again. The people who've fallen under the influence of the voice are not connected anyway. They have only two things in common. First, they all live in a town. And second, this voice compels them to commit murders. Whoever that voice is, it wants to drown our city in blood. Maybe the grandmother was trying to stop it. Maybe our... Okay, well, if this is day eight, <laughs> no, thank you. It might be ten days. So I'm guessing house fire. Yeah, nope. All right, guys, well, that was prognostic part three. Um, I'm just gonna kind of leave it off for one more episode. I think that's what we got left. I'm guessing there's about ten days to the whole day system. So if that is the case, then uh, the last part will be the final. But uh, besides that, if you guys enjoyed, please give a like, comment, subscribe if you're not, hit the bell notification if you want to see more. And as always. Have a bombastic day and peace out.